We're going to talk about comparatives and superlatives. And so you might be saying, what do you mean by comparatives and superlatives? Comparatives is, you know, when we're comparing two things. Uh, she is as tall as me or, boy, we are just as smart as them, which you probably are, I'm sure. But <laughs> that's how we're comparing people and superlatives. We're talking about the best, the worst, the most, the least, things like that. Superlatives. All right, that's what we're covering on this lesson. So I hope you have your um, cuaderno and your pluma or your bolígrafo, your lapis ready to go, ready to tomar apuntes, take some notes. Here we go. We're going to start with comparatives. Now, comparatives, again, we're comparing two different things. I want to start with this word right here, like, okay? We're saying someone is like someone else, okay? Or something is like something. She is like my sister. Now that's the sentence we're gonna start with as our first example. She is like my sister. And that's, I don't have a sister, but I have a sister-in-law, she's like my sister. Uh, so that's my case. Uh, maybe it is with you and somebody else. We're gonna use the word como to say like or as. I'm sure you've come across this word before, but this is the one we use. So if I say she is like my sister, we're gonna pretty much spit that one right out in Spanish, just like this. Ella es como mi hermana. Ella es como mi hermana. She is like my sister. Pretty easy. So when we're comparing using that, we can pretty much just put it right in Spanish. Let's do another example just for fun though. They are like family, okay? They're like family to us. Ellos son como familia. Ellos son como familia. All right. Pretty easy, pretty cut and dry. So that's how we do comparisons when we're just using like. Now let's move into comparisons of equality. Okay. Here's an example if you're not sure what I'm talking about. He is as tall as me. Okay. He's as tall as me. We're going to usually use the word tan, T-A-N, You've seen this word as so before in different contexts. We've talked about it. So we're going to use this word. And just watch what we do in Spanish. Él es tan alto como yo. He is so tall as, as I am, okay, as me. Um, we're pretty much going to use, it's kind of hard to translate it back, but tan in this case is as, okay? He is as tall as me. Tan alto como yo. Let's do another example. I'm not as smart as you, okay? <laughs> I'm probably not as smart as you, but I'm not as smart as you. No soy tan inteligente como tú, all right? So again, we're just using tan to say this, all right? Now, I wanna move into another category of comparisons, and that's using the letters er, E-R, in English. You know, we use taller, smarter, shorter, larger, smaller, all those kinds of things. Anything with er. Now here's the formula we're gonna use for that. We're gonna use the word mas plus the adjective plus the word que. And notice que has no accent on it, okay? We're not saying what. We're using que with no accent, which, you know, we, I did a lesson on this before many lessons ago. This word has so many different uses in Spanish. Que with no accent, a lot of different uses. Okay, but that's what we're gonna use. Mas plus the adjective plus que. All right, now, if I'm gonna say I'm taller than him, okay? I'm not gonna say taller. I'm gonna say, you're probably already picking up on this. I am more tall than him. And que is gonna be the than part. So let's look at it in Spanish. Soy mas alto que él. Soy mas alto que él. All right, so I am more tall than he. But once you kind of get that in your head, you can pretty much apply it to tons of different examples. But let's look at another one. She is shorter than us, okay? She is shorter than us. Ella es más baja que nosotros. Now you would think when we're not saying, we're saying, we're saying something is less than something or shorter, we're thinking less. But we're still going to use más, is more short than us, okay? So ella es más baja que nosotros. Yeah, it takes a little getting used to, but once you get it down, you, you, you've got it. Don't worry about it, okay? Just do some examples, practice, and you're going to nail it. Okay, now, 
I want to mention this. On some websites, textbooks, you're going to see this, menos plus adjective plus que, the opposite of mas plus adjective plus que. You're going to see this taught technically as a structure, but you know, um, this is not going to be that common in speech. You, you know, you try to come up with an example with uh, less something than something, it doesn't really work. You know, a while ago we were talking about less tall than, no, 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 more, sh more short than. We just talked about that. It's more common. You know, Robin and I, uh, teaches here on the channel, Robin and I were discussing this and we were talking about this is taught, but it, it really is not in a, in a normal speech context. You might see this in a scientific way or a math way, maybe a description of something in a scientific way. That might be one condition in which you might use this structure, but I'm just telling you, you're going to see it. Not that common. Okay. Now let's move on to some other examples. Let's talk about uh, the word tan again. I want to use this in different contexts. Okay, look at this sentence. Your house is not as dirty as mine. You know, sometimes we say that my house is a wreck when people come over, but it's really not. <clears throat> Your house is not as dirty as mine. Tu casa no está tan sucia como la mía. So again, we're saying not so dirty as mine. All right, so same way. Okay, now I want to talk about irregular comparatives for a minute. There are some irregular comparatives. You know, we always got to have those troublemakers, right? All right. That's okay, though. These are easy. We're just going to use these as they are. Good is bueno. We know that. Good is bueno. Okay. Something is good. All right. Better is mejor. Mejor. It stands alone. Okay. Bad is malo. But worse is peor. Okay, it just stands alone. You don't have to say more bad than. All right, now big is grande, bigger, más grande. Okay, get that structure in your head. We're back to the más part. Okay, now we can also say mayor for bigger in certain contexts. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Just hang on to this for a minute. We're going to talk about this in a few minutes, okay? So we're going to come back to mayor. We'll tell you why in just a minute. <clears throat> okay. Small, pequeño, smaller, más pequeño. Let's look at an example. My house is smaller than yours. Mi casa es más pequeña que la tuya. There you go. Smaller, you can also say, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, menor can be smaller also, but again, we're going to come back and talk about this in a minute, okay? All right, we're going to come back and talk about this. So hang on to that and the other one, mayor. All right, <clears throat> now let's look at some other ones, okay? So you got joven is young, younger is menor, stands alone. Don't have to say more young than, menor stands alone. Old is viejo, older, we can just simply say, Mayor, mayor. All right. Now let's kind of switch gears and move into superlatives for a minute. These are the most of something. Now to do superlatives, I want to go ahead and teach you an initial structure. Here it is. We're going to take the definite article first, which is el, la, los, or las. Okay. Those are the definite articles plus mas plus the adjective. That's our general formula for this, okay? Let's look at an example. We are the tallest students in the class. Somos los estudiantes más altos de la clase. The students more tall or most tall is really how you can look at it. See, that word kind of functions both ways of the class. Okay. He is the richest man in the city. El Es el hombre más rico de la ciudad. The most, the man, most rich. Okay. 
Now let's talk about the least of something. We can use the definite article again, here's the formula, plus menos, plus the adjective now. Okay, same as we just modify that one word as the formula before. Look at an example. She is the least likely to get in trouble. Okay, hope, yeah, hope that's true for somebody you know. Ella es la menos propensa a meterse en problemas to put herself in problems, okay, in trouble. So, ella es la menos propensa a meterse en problemas. Okay, so here we're using menos uh, in our superlative. Yes, there are some irregular superlatives as well. Let's look at those really quick. Quickly, all right, <clears throat> I, want to, I don't want to get called out for my bad English grammar, so let's look at them quickly. Good, we know, we've talked about good a while ago. Well, the best is simply one of these. El mejor, la mejor. Those are both the singular formulas, okay, the or structures. Now, even for the feminine, we're using la mejor, we're not changing it. Plural are going to be these. Los mejores, las mejores. Okay, so they kind of stand all alone on their own. All right, so now let's go back to the word bad. We talked about bad a while ago. Here's the worst. El peor, la peor, los peores, las peores. Okay, now let's look at an example. That is the biggest house in the neighborhood. Esa es la casa Más grande del barrio. Okay, now you can notice this is like the structure we did a while ago, but I'm going to show you a different one too. What if I'm just taking out some of those words? That house is. What if I just say, hey, somebody asked me about that house, and I say, it's the biggest in the neighborhood. Okay, I can say it like this. Es la más grande del barrio. See, now I'm just pushing this together. La más grande, the most big. Okay, let's do an example with smallest. That is the smallest house in the neighborhood. Yeah, you know how this is going to go. Esa es la casa más pequeña del barrio. All right, now let's condense that one down. It's the smallest in the neighborhood. Es la más pequeña del barrio. There you go. Just like the other one, just in using a different word. Okay, now we're gonna go back to those words I talked about a while ago. Mayor, menor. I told you we're gonna talk about those in a minute. Well, it's time. Now I just wanna show you the different uses of them. First, you have el, may el mayor, la mayor, los mayores, las mayores. Okay, and the same for the other one. El menor, la menor, los menores, las menores. Okay. Technically, you will see these on websites and textbooks taught as structures that mean what we talked about a while ago, you know, the, the bigger, the biggest, the smaller, smaller, all that kind of thing. But honestly, this, you know, again, Robin and I talked about this. And of course, she's a native speaker, even. We talked about this. And again, this is only in certain contexts. Is it going to be bigger or the biggest? Only in certain contexts. I'll give an example. Maybe in the context of the greatest struggle um, or the least effort that has been put in. Maybe in those contexts. I'll give an example. Um, he put the least effort into his presentation, and that's why he wasn't hired. That's a big, long sentence, but I'll use it just to show you what we mean. Él le puso el menor esfuerzo a su presentación y por eso no lo contrataron. Okay, that's a big sentence, but you can see in here, el menor esfuerzo, the least effort. So it has certain context that it works in, okay? Let's look at one with the other one. Um, so this one. Uh, one of the greatest, uh, let me say this, one of the major causes, we'll play it that way, of World War II was the Treaty of Versailles. Again, another complex sentence here. This is what it would look like in Spanish. Una de las mayores 
causas de la Segunda Guerra Mundial fue el trato de Versalles. Okay? Big sentence kind of demonstrates what I'm talking about. All right. Let's look at a few more. Young, we talked about a while ago, joven, the youngest. We can say el menor, la menor, los menores, las menores. Old, we said was viejo a while ago. We also said you could use mayor for older. So the oldest, el mayor, la mayor, los mayores, las mayores. Okay, amigos, that was a pretty extensive lesson, but I really hope you've gotten a lot out of this lesson. Okay, I just hope I've helped you out. Maybe watch this a couple of times, make some notes, form some sentences, check yourself, put it into practice. That's the most important thing you can do. Speak in conversation as much as you can.